one thing I kind of want to discuss is Max Crosby and kind of like his, like what he brings to the table. And of course, he dominates every year. But we as Raider fans, we want to see him take it to the next level and get the defensive player of the year. I kind of wanted to break down with you what is it going to take for Max to be able to get that defensive player a year? Like, what do you think has to happen? So, you know, one of the things I, I kind of pulled up, like I, I wanted to take a look at, I don't know why it came out like that, but um, but the previous uh, defensive ends and outside linebackers, defensive players a year, I went back 10 years and just um, wanted to take a look at what each of their numbers were compared to where Crosby was last year. So just kind of starting at the top, you know, uh, Miles Garrett, 14 sacks, 42 tackles, 30 quarterback hits, 17 tackles for loss, four forced fumbles. That was a strong year just across the board. But like Nick Bosa that year before, he went insane uh, with 18.5 sacks, uh, but uh, 48 quarterback hits, you know, 19 tackles for loss, two forced fumbles. Um, T.J. Watt went nuts. Um, I think I was in 21. Uh, 22.5 sacks, 64 tackles, 39 quarterback hits, 21 tackles for loss, five forced fumbles. Um, then just look at what Mac, Mac did. And then those two years from um, from J.J. Watt, you know, those were insane with the 17.5 sacks and then the 20.5 sacks of the year before. So just kind of averaged it out of all those years. It looks like the average was about 17 sacks, um, 64 tackles, one quarterback hits, 22 tackles for loss, and four fumble, uh, forced fumbles. So just kind of looking at that and then comparing it to what Crosby did last year, um, 14.5 sacks. Um, his tackle number is just killing everybody who's, who's ever won it with 90. Um, 31 quarterback hits, 23 tackles for loss, and two forced fumbles. So, like, when you just take a quick look at that, what are, what are your thoughts? Like, what, what do you think Crosby needs to do next year to really solidify himself as, you know, being able to get that defensive player of the year? Because I, I can't lie. A lot of people were pissed off that he didn't get it this last year. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Garrett did have a good year, but, I mean, Max's numbers are, are right there. I mean, if not better, you know, they're right there. So what's your thoughts? Well, my first thought is uh, your graphic's pretty fucking badass, and I want you to show me how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the graphic up there, I like that. Good job, man, on that. <laughs> but um, and then uh, real quick, I want to say salute to some people in the chat. SoCal, uh, Pizzle, Super Omicron, Al's Ghost. I know I missed a, missed a few, but anybody Oh, else yeah. Anybody got Jack Ken in there. You got all kinds. Of, yeah. I saw Critique in there. I got a lot of, a lot of my dogs in there, man. Oh, there he is. Everybody in there. Critique. What up, big dog? Yeah. Appreciate everybody, man. Hell yeah. But, uh, you know, the first thing that always stands out to me with Max is the 90 uh, tackles. How much higher his, like, tackle rate is as a like, defensive end and not, like, a linebacker. Yeah. Uh, how much more tackles he has than these other guys i know this stat is in there but also the percentage of downs he plays versus these other guys you know oh yeah the one caveat i would say so like before you showed me this for him to win defensive player of the year i was thinking he has to probably get at least 18 sacks this year and unfortunately the the bad part about to be like a defensive player of the year is um, your team has to do well. Yeah, you got to be on a this way, but the way yeah. the NFL works. Yeah, um, your team has to. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, your team has to do well for um, that guy, like someone on your team, to get a defensive player of the year option or like you know offensive player of the year or something like that. So um, Raiders really have to go to the playoffs and maybe even win one playoff game for him to even be in consideration. Even if he's leading the NFL in sacks or something, if if the Raiders don't have a good season. Uh, it's almost impossible, I feel like, for him to get Defensive Player of the Year. So it's almost a double-edged sword. Like, Max can do everything, right? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's badass that, uh, you know, our defensive end, we drafted in the fourth round that John Gruden gets no credit for, right? Um, him and Mayock. But that defensive end that replaced Khalil Mack, it's crazy that now he is the face of the franchise. That's you know crazy. what I mean? That's, that's, that's pretty nuts. That's and crazy. so, um, but with Christian Wilkinson there, that should definitely help. 
Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe, you know, honestly, maybe it takes away some of the sacks or maybe adds to it's going to be hard to kind of say, um, but it's definitely going to help the overall defense. You know what I mean? If Max ain't eating and Christian Wilkinson uh, Wilkins is eating, uh, then you know what? That's good, too. You know what I mean? So if the stats aren't there, uh, but we're producing, we're winning ball games, then, you know, what? I'm all about that, too. But um, for him to win, I would say at least 18 sacks and Raiders have to go to the playoffs and possibly even win one playoff game. Yeah, no, that that's that's true. I think. Um, see, the thing is, see, Max, you know, with, with these numbers, he. Uh, the thing I think he played like I forgot how many more down. I, I should have pulled it up, but he played a lot more downs than everyone else, which is awesome for us because you want your guy to be out there. You want him to, you know, playing. But it's like, man, it's like Matt, like Garrett did this amount in like. I, I don't even know how many, let's just say 100 less snaps. So when they take that into account, it's like, okay, I, I, I get what they're saying. But I feel what you're saying. It's all about, like, for a long time, the Browns had the best defense of last year. You know, they, they were, like, the number one or number two defense, so they really stepped it up. But, yeah, without us winning games and getting to the playoffs, it's going to be hard for him to get it. Um, that's, just, that's just all there is to it. But. Raiders. Raiders.